Hello everyone. Um, I went to Dollar General today and did my five off of 25 and I did it on Procter and Gamble products so that I could get the $3 off your next purchase. Now I got stuff I didn't need, but that's okay. We don't care about that, do we? <laughs> and what it printed on the bottom was download the DG app and create an account to get $3 off your next purchase. Well, number one, don't have a cell phone. So I went ahead and I emailed the company and put my receipt in to show them. And obviously this right here. So we'll see if maybe it comes onto my account or not. We'll see. Um, but anyway, I spent $11.65 before tax and saved $17.60. Now, it said that I saved more when I looked on the computer screen where it says review, you know, your receipt. But let me show you what I got for $11. I got this extra strength fabric um, spray. It's, um, the store I went to is a little more expensive, I noticed. Um, this was $4.25. No. I can't see it because my dog drooled on it. So this should have been $4 at the other store, but I'm not sure. But I did get a coupon off. I had a $2 off. Okay, so I really wanted to do the gain as well, but I went ahead and got two of these. These were... Um, $5 a piece. I had $3.99 off of the two. Not too bad. Um, this air is the Heavy Duty Kitchen. And it was $4. And I had a $2 off coupon on that. I think my fabric is leaking in here. But it's okay because it stinks in here too. Okay, so the plug was $3.75. I had a $2.30 coupon off of that. This is the Vapo Cool um, lozenges. They were $2.50. I had a $2 off, which made these $0.50. Cents. What a great thing to put in your medical preps, right? For $0.50. Cents. Yeah. Okay. This one is the Febreze Small Space. Let's see here. It was $4 and I had a $2 off coupon on that as well. So I thought I did pretty well and I was going to aim that $3 off to go with my $5 off next week or the one that I also had that I gave to my neighbor while he was in the store. But it didn't matter. I was just going to keep that $3 for next week um, because I do want to do a Dollar General um, prep haul next week with the five off of 25. So that's what I really want to do with that. Um, we'll see what the results are from this. I don't even know, but savings of 1760 is not a bad deal at all. And of course you got your five off of 25 for next week. Okay. So I went to tractor supply and outside, I don't know if, if, or if he was a cub scout or a boy scout. I'm not exactly sure, but they were selling things and the one thing I saw that they were selling was this popcorn. Of course, it was $15, but it was to a cause. So I thought it was a great, you know, a great cause to give to. And I always like to have popcorn on hand. It's better than the little bag and I can put it right into my long, longer term storage. So I thought that was a pretty good a thing to do. Okay. Also, at Tractor Supply, I'm going to tell you what I found here. This is called the Chicks Mix. Um, it's seeds that you plant, and I can't wait to plant it. It was $9.99. It was a little expensive, but I'm going to take some of the property that I got bulldogs off, and I'm going to plant this in a little area, so that way we'll have some chicken seed. Um, what else did I find? Oh, I found another pack of these mosquito repels uh, claws. They were $3.99 on clearance. 
So that was a good deal. Now, I really want to talk to you about something. I am not certain how to approach. Oh, at Tractor Supply, I also got buckets for my food storage and I got two of the milk crates. So I forgot to put that in there. I did go and get buckets. That was the whole deal. Okay. Now I do realize my camera is at a slant, but that's just how it's going to sit because everybody in the neighborhood thinks I'm, I'm video videoing them now. <laughs> I don't understand it. I've got neighbors telling neighbors that I'm videoing and they're blocking and they're doing this and they're doing that. You know, I don't know. But anyway, it's a little crazy around here. Everybody is so paranoid of me since I called the dog warden <laughs> at one time. I called the dog warden. Okay. I want to talk about what I'm hearing from people that is quite disturbing to me. You know, I've heard a lot of radical, crazy things like, tunnels under Walmart and child trafficking under Walmart and 10 years worth of food supply under Walmart. Um, I've heard so many very, very strange things like John F. Kennedy Jr. is going to come back and be a vice presidential candidate. He's going to save the world. He's dead, but he's alive. Um, I've heard some really crazy stuff. I mean, unbelievable stuff, you know, and then I hear people say that they want to make this a Christian nation. So I started looking into it because I was like, what? Christian nationalism. Now I, I accept all religions all people, all ethnicities, races, languages that I even don't even understand. I'm like, yeah, hi. Yeah, they could be calling me whatever they wanted to. I'm like, hi, how are you doing? You know, um, and the one thing that I'm baffled on is when they say <laughs> that this nation was founded on Christianity. Was it? Okay. So, let's just say that it was and let's just say that you make this into a christian nation or christian nationalism that means that people will have to hide uh, their religious beliefs they will have to hide um their disbelief in the Christian religion. I am absolutely confused about all of this. <laughs> Here's the thing. Christianity, okay, was founded by Jesus Christ in the Middle East Jesus was Jewish, one of the, in, in, whatever, um, the Romans started professing Christianity, even though they were still wa worshiping pagans, pagan gods. And then you have the Crusades, you have the witch hunts, you have people murdered and killed because they didn't believe in Christianity. I'm hoping that these people were not talking like that. The American Indians, the Inuits, Eskimos. I don't know if they like to be called Eskimos. I'm, I'm not sure. I think they're beautiful people. <laughs> but what you're saying is, is that Christianity was the founding religion of America. No, it wasn't. Benjamin Franklin was from Puritan family. 
His parents were a Purit of Puritans. His sister ended up being, um, oh, what was she? She was, I think she was a Catholic. And he was also a Mason. And he also belonged to the Hell's Fires Club in England. Where they got ran out over into Ireland. Onto another island. The Hell's Fires Club. Um, they made a joke of themselves. However, Satan was their, their president, according to what I read. Um, so they were devil, devil worshipers, Satan worshipers. There was also some sexual craziness going on. They brought in prostitutes to the cult meetings, which was a cult. I mean, it was. Um, and then they also murdered or, you know, um, what is it? They murdered them. In rituals. Okay, so let's just go back to this, this Christian nation thing. Okay. So, every other religion in America, according to these, the people that want white Christian nation, is what they're going for. That would mean that people that did not believe in God would have to say they did in order to not be put in prison. Or if people were of another religion would have to denounce their religion and profess Christianity in order not to go to prison. And the United States of America is what's called the melting pot. It's because people from all over came to the United States. Christianity is probably one of the newer religions. Okay. Islam, Judaism, but you know, then you have Hindu faith, you have, you have faiths everywhere. You have, you know, natural um, religions, pagan religions. And these people want to be a Christian nation. And that's scary to me. You know why that's scary to me? Because I don't want to have to watch people lie to save their lives or to keep themselves out of prison. I think some people don't realize when they say this stuff, how deep it's actually going to hurt everyone else. I'm just really upset over that. And I know this is controversial and I'm not, I'm not downing Christianity. What I'm saying is, is I do not agree with white Christian nationalism. Believe what you want to believe, be the best person you can be and be respectful. Um, be caring, be empathetic. Um, but don't think you're above other religions because you are a white Christian. I mean, that really scares me. And Christianity does reflect all religions that follow Jesus Christ as their savior. Okay. And a lot of these people, they read these books and they absolutely hate Middle Easterns. Would they have hate Jesus? I mean, I don't know. But look it up if you think that you you agree with you know this being a christian nation please read what would actually happen if that were to take hold i would be totally against it because i love everyone of every religion like i said everything i don't i don't need white christians to rule the world of the United States of America.
That's all. Y'all have a great day. Hug from a distance. Bye, y'all.